Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Tiara and in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to find a vendor for your business step by step. So if you are looking to find a vendor for your business, you do not have to buy a vendor list. You do not have to ask any more friends, any more family, any more people on your social media platform because today I am going to give you all the gems, all the tips, everything you need step by step in order for you to find a vendor for your business. So if that is something that you are interested in, which I'm pretty sure it is because you clicked on this video, go ahead, get your notebook and get your pen because I am going to give you guys a list of things that you need in order for you to go ahead and get started today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, you guys, I am now on my computer and I am going to show you guys how you can use this company called Alibaba in order for you to find any kind of product you are looking to start and get manufactured over in China. So with Alibaba, I have used this website since 2018 in order for me to start multiple businesses with Alibaba, it is going to hook you up with other vendors who are in China. So with Alibaba, the difference between using vendors from China and using vendors from the USA is when you are using vendors from China, that means that you will get a discounted pricing for that particular vendor compared to how much you would have to pay to get it manufactured in the United States. Now, I know in the United States, you can find some good quality vendors, but the pricing will be different depending on what type of product you are looking to begin trying to start for your company. So with Alibaba, one thing about it is no matter what type of business you are trying to start, you can literally find every single thing you are wanting on this website. So over here to the left, you see that you can find the categories depending on what it is that you are trying to get started in. So just for the future reference of this video, we're going to just go with beauty products. As you can see within the beauty and personal care, there are so many different industries that you can even narrow it down. So you got the baby care, bath supplies, beauty equipment, body art, false eyelashes and tools, fragrance, gills, hair care and styling, hair extensions and wigs, hygiene, makeup. So again, you guys, it is so many different things that you can get started with today as a business owner. So one thing about Alibaba is what I like to do is find at least three to five different vendors to begin looking for your product. So whatever niche you are in, you want to look on Alibaba in order for you to find the specific product that you are wanting to sell within your company. So with Alibaba, once you find what it is that your niche is going to be, you want to come on here and you want to begin searching for that specific product based on the category and the niche that you are in. So once you know what you are going to sell, now you can go on Alibaba and you can find three to five vendors in order for you to go ahead and test those vendors out. Now, before you get started selling, before you create a website, before you come up with a business name, all of that good stuff, you want to make sure that you have sampled at least three to five of these different vendors off of Alibaba so that you can get the best quality. You do not want to start selling something that you have not already tested out because that means you are setting your business up for failure. If you begin to order things off of here, just to send directly to your customers without even testing the product, you don't know if the product is gonna be good. You don't know if the product is gonna hold up. You don't know anything about the product in order for you to know if this is a good product in order for you to attach your name to. Now, as a business owner, you never want to just start something have your name attached to it, and then it's not something that's going to be good because people would no longer trust you. They would think that you are a scam. They would even bash you. So you never want to put yourself 
in the situation in order for you to be called a scam or say that your products are not good quality. You, you want to make sure that if you're going to charge people for their products, that you are making sure that it is good quality. You want to make sure that if your niche is a niche that has a lot of competition, you want to figure out what can you bring in your niche, in your industry that no one else is doing so that you're able to still have a place within that market. You don't want to find different products that are the same as your competition. You want to try to find ways to make a spin on that product. So just say, for instance, if maybe they have makeup tools, maybe people have been saying they wish they had a makeup bag that had a handle on it or something. Maybe you want to find a vendor who is willing to put a handle on that makeup bag. It's small, simple things like that that will allow your business to stand out within your industry based off of what your competition is doing. So you can kind of know what the competition is doing by just taking a glimpse of their website, what it is that they sell, what it is that their customers may be saying on their website for the reviews. Maybe you can look on their Instagram and see what it is that people are asking them for and you can deliver what it is that people are searching for. So once you are on Alibaba, depending on what it is that you are looking for, we're going to just go on here and play around with it. I guess we'll look at, um, let's go with makeup and tools. So let's see what it is that you can actually find within this category itself. So once you are on here, whatever it is that you are trying to find, if you're trying to find this makeup brushes, if you're trying to find eyeshadow, you want to go on here and you want to search it because you can always go up here to the search bar and you can search exactly what it is that you're looking for. So just because I'm showing you guys this actual website, I'm just showing you based off my thoughts. But if you know specifically what it is that you are trying to go ahead and begin testing out, you can just go right here and search in whatever it is that you are looking for. So once you're on here and you're looking exactly for what you want to sell, you want to look right here where it says MOQ. That's going to be the minimum order quantity. That means that you have to purchase at least the minimum amount of what it's saying. So like right here, the first one that we see, it say you have to purchase at least 10,000 pieces. So as a small business owner, as someone who is just beginning, you don't wanna go with such a big number like that because that means that you're gonna have to order 10,000 pieces in order for them to even supply to you. Next to it, you see where it says 2,000 boxes. You don't want to order something like that because that is a big amount. Unless you know that you have a big audience and you know that they are asking for this, you never want to start with a big amount. And when you begin to go on here and play around with it, you can always contact the manufacturer. You always want to tell them, hey, I want to try out your product. Do you offer a sample deal because most of these vendors they want people to purchase from them and they want to stand out from their own competitors that they will give you a discount where you can get the product free but you would just have to pay the shipping for the product to be shipped to you when you're on here you're you always want to ask them if they offer a sample package and if they do how much the shipping to be in order for you to get it another thing you want to make sure that you do once you have found out which vendor it is that you want to test you want to do some comparison to those vendors you want to see how much it's going to cost for the shipping how long it's going to take them because if you're on here and you're asking different vendors about the product, you want to make sure that they're able to get the product to you in a timely manner. So again, once you find three to five vendors, you want to go ahead and compare even that in the beginning. When you begin to contact them, you want to ask them, how long is it going to take for me to get it? Because if out of those three vendors, one of them say it's going to take two weeks and the other two say it's going to take three to seven days, you know automatically to eliminate the one who says it's going to take 
two weeks because that's too long in order for you to have to wait on these products. So that's a good rule in, in order for you to know which vendors you can go with. So again, once you go on here, so let's just say this right here, two pieces. So let's go on here and see exactly what this product looks like if we approve of it. So here you can see that it's $1, one piece. Minimum order is one piece, so that's good. You can buy samples. You see the woman over here showing you what it does, She's showing you how it looks. You want to look at this and make sure. Now, since this is coming from China, depending on what it is that you are ordering, you want to make sure that you are seeing the products as they are using it, the people from China. If you see that it's African-Americans on these products, this is not their actual promotion. That means that they have just stolen American products, pictures from over here, and that they have just put it on their website. So that does not mean that it is going to look that way. So if you are trying to get maybe in the hair industry, that is one of the biggest industries I noticed where they will take the products and they will put the pictures from over here in the USA from African Americans and they would put it on their website as if it was their own. But be aware of that. You always want to make sure that you are looking at exactly the product itself and you ask them for pictures that they have used and put up of the product on their own website. So on here, you can see that you can customize your logo, but the minimum order to customize your logo will be 12,000. So if you're trying to customize your logo, maybe this is not gonna be the company for you. Another thing you can look at over here to the side is it is a verified supplier. So uh, the good thing about Alibaba is they will let you know if they have been verified. If they are verified, that means that you can trust this company because Alibaba have already verified them to be a good manufacturer. Now, one thing I like to do right here, you see exactly that it's coming from China. You see the CN. So they have been in business for 14 years. That means that they know exactly what they are doing. The store score is five out of five. On-time delivery rate, 100%. That is awesome. I like to look at these type of things because this will give you an idea of if this is a good vendor because this means that other companies are using this vendor. The total amount of transactions, I always look to see how long it is that they've been getting money, how much money they've made. Because when you know how much money they've made, that means that you can kind of calculate and know if they are a new company, if they've been making a lot of money, that means that people are actually purchasing from them and that people love them. Right here, you see they done made a million dollars. So this is good. This may be a good vendor to look at. You also want to see the staff. They have 295 people who work at this company. You want to know the staff because you want to know if you have a big order if this company will be able to keep up with your supply and demand. You don't want to start working with small companies who aren't able to fulfill your orders in a timely manner when you need them. And the only way you can know that is by knowing how many people they have in staff. So if they only have 10 to 15 to 20 people, Think about your business as a big company. Don't think about where you are starting at. Now, you always want to think about if your business become big, when your business become big, will this company still be able to supply you and be in demand and keep you up and running in a good timely manner? Because timing is always good. You're competing with companies as Amazon and with Amazon you're able to get sometimes your package the same day, within two days, within three days. So people expect things to come expediently. They do not like to wait on packages. So you don't want to have your customers waiting. Even if you have a good product, a lot of times people don't like waiting. So you always want to make sure that you think about that as well. 
So if you're interested in this company, you can also go on here and visit the store. You can visit the store to see what else the store may have that you may like. Because you, if you decide that you want to add other things to your website besides one product, if you decide to branch out, you want to see if you can use the same vendor because you don't want to just have so many vendors that it's hard to keep up with. So if you can find a one-stop shop, that is even better for you. So here you see the categories. They have the eye makeup. They have the lip makeup, face makeup, makeup eye, lip pencil, makeup base, primer, setting spray and lotion, makeup remover, makeup set. So for someone who's trying to get into the makeup industry, this may be a good company for you if you're trying to sell all of those products. Now, I'm not saying you have to sell all of these products at once, but what I'm saying is as you begin to grow your company, you can begin to add other products as this to your website and you can stick with the same vendor that you know of instead of having to find a different vendor. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or concerns on what it is you need to do in order for you to look on Alibaba and find you a good vendor, make sure you let me know down in the comments so that I can make sure to answer your questions and make videos to help you guys get the vendors that you need in order for you to start a successful business. If you found this video to be helpful and you are not a part of the community, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. On this channel, I teach you guys everything you need to know in order for you to start fun and grow your business so that you can become a full-time business owner and live the life that you deserve to live. I am Tiara and this is going to bring us to the end of this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys and I will see you back on the next video. Bye!